Hello, story timers. Today we have the paper bag princess. Did you ever see a princess dressed in a paper bag? You will in a minute. Elizabeth was a beautiful princess. She lived in a castle that had expensive princess clothes. She was going to marry a prince named Ronald. There he is. Unfortunately, a dragon smashed her castle, burned all her clothes with his fiery breath, and carried off Prince Ronald. Elizabeth decided to chase the dragon and get Ronald back. She looked everywhere for something to wear, but the only thing she can find that was not burn up was this paper bag. So she put on that paper bag and she followed the dragon. He was easy to follow because he left a trail of burnt forests and horses bones. Finally, Elizabeth came to a cave with a large door that had a huge knocker on it. She took hold of the knocker and banged on the door. The dragon stuck his nose out and said, well, a princess. I love to eat princesses, but I have already eaten a whole castle today. I am a very busy dragon. Come back tomorrow. And he slammed the door so fast that Elizabeth almost got her nose caught. Elizabeth grabbed the knocker and banged on the door again. The dragon stuck his nose out of the door and said, go away, I love to eat princesses, but I have already eaten a whole castle today. I am a very busy dragon. Come back tomorrow. Wait, shouted Elizabeth. Is it true that you are the smartest and fiercest dragon in the whole world? Yes, said the dragon. Is it true, said Elizabeth, that you can burn up 10 forests with your fiery breath? Oh yes, said the dragon. And he took a huge deep breath and burned out so much fire that he burned up 50 forests. That would really toast a marshmallow. Fantastic, said Elizabeth. And the dragon took another huge breath and breathed out so much fire that he burned up 100 more forests. Magnificent, said Elizabeth, and the dragon took another huge breath, but this time nothing came out. The dragon didn't even have enough fire left to cook a meatball. Elizabeth said, dragon, is it true that you can fly around the world in just 10 seconds? Why, yes, said the dragon and he jumped up and flew all the way around the world in just 10 seconds. He was very tired when he got back, but Elizabeth shouted, fantastic, do it again. There he goes. So the dragon jumped up and flew around the whole world in just 20 seconds. When he got back, he was too tired to talk and he lay down and he went straight to sleep. He's really tuckered. Elizabeth whispered very softly, hey, dragon. The dragon didn't move at all. She lifted up the dragon's ear and put her head right inside and she shouted as loud as she could, hey, dragon. The dragon was so tired, he didn't even move. Elizabeth walked right over the dragon and opened the door to the cave. There was Prince Ronald he looked at her and said, Elizabeth, you are a mess. Your hair smells like ashes and, and your clothes looks like a paper bag and you don't look like a princess at all. The nerve after she saved him. Ronald, Elizabeth said, your clothes are really pretty and your hair is very neat. You look like a real prince, but you are a bum and they didn't get married after all. And snip, snap, snap, this tale's told out.